Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Yoro, and we're finally getting back to Bleach, episode 28. Uh, shout out to Solid Snack for requesting these reactions, as always. Where we left off, Ichigo in his fight, uh, but the dude lived, you know, because uh, Ichigo used the ointment from his weapon, which was like, I expected them to commit to killing him off, but they set up the ointment thing before, and it makes more sense for Ichigo for him to try to save him. And he also got information out of it, so he knows where Rukia is. Ganju is still on the run from Ikot, motherfucker, so, you know, that's still happening. Speaking of running, uh, Kimpachi is running through this maze of a place in the Serete, just running into dead ends. Again, I don't know what's the deal with this place, who designed it, or why nobody, like, knows their way around it. The fact that everyone is so surprised, like, ah, oh, damn it, another dead end. I don't know, but it's funny. There's some troll architect there in the Serete. But dude was telling Ichiko, yeah, that's my captain. He's, if you're the strongest, he's coming straight for you. Apparently the little girl on Kimpachi's back is his lieutenant, of course, because anime. Shout out to Solid for letting me know that. I think she's like kind of guiding him too, or maybe sensing maybe who the strongest is or sensing spirit energy. I don't know why I think that. I just, I don't know. I think she said something like that, but whatever. They're running. They're trying to find them. Everyone in this area today is trying to find them. We got Chad uh, running toward where, wherever Uryu and Orihime are that they're running from all the Soul Reapers chasing them. Uh, I don't think we saw anything happen after that other than them just like getting the fuck away and like Chad running after them. Hiroichi's on somewhere doing cat things. Uh, hopefully we catch up with them soon. And Rukia is even wondering if Ichigo's even here, you know. But yeah, that's about it. That's where we left off. We'll see if they run into Kenpachi soon. I mean, if they do, they probably just fucking die. So I, I wouldn't expect that this episode or even in the next couple, but I could be wrong. And that might happen. So yeah, we'll see. Let's go. Getting the episode in three, two, one. Oh shit. Yeah, this opening sets the tone, man. It's gonna get very real when Ichigo does finally get to Rukia, cause, you know, we still just got here. Like, it's barely encountered, like, you know, these first two Soul Reapers, and that was just them. We got the mom chasing our other crew, but like we really just got here. And this is a whole arc, right? So, you know, I'm ready. There's the mob coming in. Yeah, and I want to see Yoroichi do some shit too with uh, their experience. Yeah, once everyone gets together. I don't know, but something's going to happen. A lot of running. <laughs> Remember that hair, though. Fifth strongest. Fifth seat. I don't know how anyone finds anything here. Troll ass architect. What the hell? Wow, I guess that's one way. They all heard you. Oh shit, they're taking a smoke break right there. The fucking twinkle. Your hair is crazy. It's like a fin on your head. Alright, more running. <laughs> gotta go. Everybody's gotta run until we all bump into each other Scooby-Doo style. Oh shit. How many dead ends, dude? 
Oh, that was cool. That was a cool visual. Dude, Ganju's been surviving, man. He's doing great. What the hell? How many holes? No ladder on this one. Here we go again. Ha ha ha. Fucking gingerbread man of bleach. Oh boy. We heard about that. Neutralizes your power. Oh god. We don't tell me. Oh yeah, he's very fucked up. Come on, Ichigo or somebody. Damn. It's like the worst kind of Soul Reaper. Yeah, spit. There you go. Thank God. Lolly just yelled earlier. Just fuck it. Dude, where are you? Wasn't very smart, though. But he's close. Holy shit. Ugly. Oh. Ah, yup. Be afraid. Did you go strong? Ooh, nice. Perfect distraction. Dude, Ganju's quick. That shit works. Shooting flower. Whoa. That's exactly what he wanted. Yo. Is there like shrapnel in them? What the hell? Uh. Oh, damn. Toxic masculinity. We take it. Roast his ass. Like, <laughs> does the shit on the ground. He's like setting something up. He's very strong. He's, he's been setting something up in the ground. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's gonna fall. He's been weakening the ground with his thing. With his power. Oh, my wa. Oh, shit. He had to eat that. God, I don't think we have a trick for this one. Unless he intentionally rolled that far. Come on. Okay, here we go. Mmm. There you go. Woo! What he was doing earlier. Yeah. <laughs> Get down there. 
to get this guy out of here. Tired of him. Let's go, Ganju. Ooh. Redcon Sepa San. This dude is Gara. Holy shit. Damn, the whole thing? Oh, he got jumps. I, I hope he's in the sky above him. Oh, I was about to say. Oh, damn it, on his face? That's a good ass throw. He's gonna get blown downwards. Oh, fuck. Did he just blow up entirely in a firework? God damn. Did he just fucking explode, dude? That was sick. That's gnarly as hell. Uh, you can't jump over these roofs? I mean, that works too. I like this guy's style. Yuruichi? Okay. Nice. <laughs> I just saw the Grim Reaper walk by. Interesting. Yeah, he, he doesn't sense very well. That's why he has his lieutenant, I guess. Oh, oh! you big. You super big. You look terrifying. I hate how smooth your hair is. Very good. Oh god, who are you? Damn, this guy's talking, talking cool. Mm hmm. Thanks, Yoruichi. But where are you going? Damn it. Okay, halfway. Well, we have their fight now. Shit. I can't get over Ganju exploding him with a fucking firework. That was beautiful. Wink. Nice. Yeah, you was super quick there. Let's go, Uryu. Time to shine. That was pretty tight. True Quincy. Now he finally has a Soul Reaper opponent he can defeat. These two, two can take this guy. Oh boy. You could, I mean, this guy's clearly super fucking strong. I'm happy Udi is getting his moment. Whoa, Pocket Sand. You bitch. Damn. That was some Ganju shit. Or just smart. Come on, get back up. <laughs> the way this guy talks. This guy's so dramatic. Oh god. Oh, she, yeah, she ain't going anywhere. Mm-hmm. There you go. Ooh, this one. <laughs> I like how they talk. I reject. 
Oh, shit. Did he kill him? Okay, he's super hurt, though. <laughs> oh, she hesitated. She's not fully confident. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. Did you eat a Mario mushroom? You're like way bigger. Come on, Udu. Or Udu, hey man, I don't know. Do something. Ooh, Quincy shot. With the arrow. Hell yeah. Hey. <laughs> there you go. That was cool. That was cool, Udu. <laughs> nice. Yeah, Odihime, I mean, yeah, that's her thing, right? She's it's not a killer. She can't even do that if she tries. She wants to save everyone, or save Ichigo and protect them, but... She can't really... Solo or one-shot people like that. More defensive. Which is good. They need uh, that kind of person. Oh, wait, that's the one that tried to bring the, her uh, food before. Oh, they know. I didn't think they would let him in. Damn. Poor guy. Well, he tried. And Rukia saw. What you thinking, Rukia? Probably doesn't know what to think. Just time ticking down. Just acceptance. Oh, God. I, like, just processed how many people... How many Soul Reapers. True. That we've seen that trend. They're very confident in their powers. Oh, God. Okay, this is funny. <laughs> it's just annoyed. You fucking filler enemies. Beat it. As many as it takes to move the plot forward. Ah, you know. Of course. Oh, is it? Mmm, that is different. Nice leveled up audio. We're seeing it now. Yeah, they all leveled up. Getting ready for this. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Whoa. Okay, that was cool. Made like a bunch of shuriken. Or green goblin blades. Jerobo. Squad 7. Oh. Uh, Wind Scythe. 
He said, I'm the best with projectiles. This guy's in a stage play, man. He loves it. Okay, I was waiting for that. <laughs> mm. He sniped them all, dude. That was crazy. Oh, fuck, dude. Dude, instantly. I can barely see it. <laughs> yes. True. Dude, do you? I like it. He's doing super good. Wait, specimens. Are you the weird captain? Oh, of course you have human specimens. Damn. What are your usual specimens? Is this your lieutenant? Ooh, black butterfly. Hail butterfly. Nope. He looks crazy. Ugh. Oh, this guy is creepy. Even more than I thought. Don't it. I love his design. It's so fucked up. And clearly so is he, so... Soraki. Was that him then? Oh boy. Do the cap more cap another captain on the move. Probably one of the worst ones to have after you too. Perverse intentions. Oop, there's Chad. Whoa, okay. Didn't expect him to run into him first. <laughs> hey, man. Or maybe we just cut to him. Maybe he didn't see him. Poor Ganju. Fucking exploded that guy, though. That was sick. And Uryu just being the most badass of all. It's about to end. Damn it. That was cool, though. Man, seeing Uryu's level up. That's my favorite. Actually, man. Dude blowing up. Yeah, both of those were great. We finally got seen a little more of this new captain. Oh, I forgot the name. Uh, Yoroichi said. We'll hear it again soon. Oh, damn. Kenpachi there. And his lieutenant. Uh, <laughs> cute. Their squad. <laughs> oh, damn. Kenpachi looks awesome. Most punk hair ever. All right, what we got for next time? Ew. Snipe him, with you? <laughs> what the hell? Man said piano practice. 
Uh, that was a good ass episode, man. Um, finally, uh, highlights on Uryu or post um, their training, right? Because I remember they prepared for this. Uh, we mainly saw Ichigo uh, training with Urahara, but we we know that they were as well. And I think we saw like little bits of that as well. Again, it's been a long time since I saw that part of the show. But finally, seeing the results of it, the glove, his bow is even different. Like these are like for Quincy and for that kind of power, these are like spiritual reflections. So he's like leveled up, like spiritually and physically, and uh, just flexing on this Soul Reaper man. And as big as he is, I didn't expect him to be a projectile kind of guy with his wind scythe, uh, Zanpakuto. It's a very cool ability because he like smashed it down with his hand, and then they all emerge. It was pretty tight. Didn't mean shit though, because he sniped them all instantly. That was crazy. Uryu is like next level now and I, I didn't expect that I didn't think he would be that strong here you know uh compared to like Ichigo and maybe even Chad like just in terms of strength like I I saw him more maybe as support you know because generally like you would assume that about people who use like projectiles like that um same with Torihime like her her abilities are very versatile like she has uh offensive defensive and healing so she can really do like whatever the only thing is she doesn't have murderous intent she's not a killer she's not going to uh, strike to kill even though that's what they have to do against these guys but i wonder like if she'll try to stop him from killing this guy because clearly like udi wants to kill this guy like as a quincy as one of the last if not the last quincy i don't remember if they said that uh the bloody history of what the soul reapers did to quincy is like he finally has this chance to kill a soul reaper that's trying to kill him and kill his friends like it's a perfect scenario for that expressing that vengeance that he really hasn't had the chance to because he befriended Ichigo and like that's that but here I wonder if Odehima is going to stop him because he's clearly outmatched this guy this guy is done like he knows he's fucked like Uryu is going super hard and it's super cool to see but it's like we want to see our boy go down that road I mean personally I'm like fuck it you know snipe him right but I get it you know like for them as characters for Odehima to be there as well to not have that I think I think she's going to stop him for next time or try to but we'll see how that turns out. Either way, I love to see the level up there. Dude, Ganju exploding that guy like with the firework to his face. That is gnarly, dude. Uh, clearly, probably in the manga, there is like blood explosion along with the firework lights. That was like the most fitting way for Ganju to like fucking kill him um, with the firework. And of course, it was a beautiful firework as well. Very fitting for this peacock bitch. God, he talked so much. It's like a Broadway Soul Reaper Uryu's and Orihima are fighting. Uh, that dude talked a lot, man. Gave a lot of opportunity for Ganju to do trickery and stuff. But Ganju was very quick and he set up, like the way he set that up for like the ground to completely lift up and like collapse down. And, but like also anticipating him jumping up so he wouldn't be able to dodge like him throwing the firework bomb at him. Like, that was pretty damn good. And, and that was a good ass throw too. That that was important too. He needed to land that throw. Uh, of course, seeing our creepy captain as well. His design is sick. Definitely the most uh, unique looking of all the captains. So is he like from? Considering they they got a message from a hell butterfly. Like is he from like whatever hell is? Like for the Bleach universe or, or I don't know because yeah he doesn't look as humanoid as everyone else. You know so. Clearly, he is something else where he was influenced by something else. I don't know. But the fact that he has, like, subjects and that he's wanting to, like, get to them before the others find out. Like, he has his own agenda. is like, very weird. It's like Orochimaru from uh, Naruto. But he is cool. I, I do want to see more from him because he's, like, super unique and weird. Uh, Kenpachi. So, apparently, Kenpachi's not very good at sensing, uh, considering they were right there. And maybe the, gr n the girl necessarily isn't either. Um, cause she was with him too, but she was like distracted by like talking to him. Uh, but I wonder if that's like going to be a relevant thing as far as like them defeating him. Cause he's clearly super strong. Kipachi is like probably God tier. I don't know. Bleach is a long show. So who knows how, what the power scaling is like by the end of this, right? That is something to note. Yoruichi's like, everyone survive, please. And it's like, oh, all right. Uh, Chad's broke through the wall. Ganju's on the run again. This is truly the running uh, part of the arc, you know? everyone's just scrambling they're all being hunted having uh their own fights and stuff so uh yeah we'll just see where it goes next man but thank you again solid snack for requesting these reactions and i'll see you on the next one peace